Good morning, everybody. Saturday. <clears throat> Still, uh, goats. Still a beautiful fall day. Look at those colors. So this is the, by the horse arena. If you head down, well, I should call it the goat arena at this point, because that's pretty much what I'm using it for. My goats. If you look down, hey, if Justin Rose could turn a horse thing into a house, I could turn it into a goat thing. Is that not a beautiful road? That goes down to the neighbors. I just, I don't know what that loud noise is. Something going down the highway far away. Well, really not that far away, unfortunately. I wish it were further away, but it's not. So, anyway, we are on baby watch. Waiting to see. So last night, Stephanie and I, she doesn't even like me saying her name, so I'm just going to have my daughter and I. My daughter. Whose name we do not say. Ooh, kind of like Voldemort, huh? I'm going to shut that, keep some of the heat in here. It's not that cold, but we're going to have babies. So the heat lamps are notorious for burning places down. And because I have these metal things, I'm pretty really good about putting them up so that they're not... This was when we had the meat birds in here, and I just left them up in case I had to put birds in here again. So, here's one of the... What is going on in here, ladies? Oh, you're out of water? Yeah, I've got one right here. So, anyway, they finally learned not to knock their bucket over. I try and keep the door closed in here because this is the only heated room. Uh, you know, I clean this every other day. You could never tell by looking at it, could you? No. Nope. That's because when I bring Mama in to try and milk her and check her out, uh, the babies come in. So imagine having toddlers in here while you're milking and uh, what they would do. And that's what they do. They tear everything apart. So... <coughs> coughing. I'm coming, ladies. Oh, they're so wild. And that's partially my fault because they were meat birds in a meat factor. So I didn't really socialize anyone. We might need food. Oh, what do we got over here? I don't know what kind of hole that is. I don't know if I told you guys. But the first year we were here, um, I heard my chicken squawking. So I came running out to see what was going on. And I had a chicken in a, in a hole. And I knew that I had had some groundhog issues. I need to clean that out. I knew I'd had some groundhog issues. I'd seen it. And there was a hole in the chicken coop. God bless America. There was a hole in the chicken coop. I need one of those stand things. Um, and I had... My chicken was in it. So I grabbed my chicken and got into a pulling match with a groundhog who had a hold of my chicken on the other side. So it did give me a new uh, respect for sticking my hand in holes that I never had before. I had a hard time with it for a while. I didn't want to stick my hand in any hole. And I'm not one of those wussy girls. <laughs> I was one of those tomboys, so that was quite, quite different for me. So these are peas that I soaked. And the chickens seem to like them. I know the goats like them, which surprised me. And there's nobody on this planet besides the 1% who isn't trying to stretch every penny they've got further. So, I will give them some of this, then I'll come back and get some mash. Because I only have so many hands. I'm going to change that calendar, just because it's bothering me. So, anyway, I came out here to talk to you about Baby Watch. And instead of baby watch, we're feeding chickens. Which is okay, because they need to be fed. Corn goes in this one. Layer mash in the other. Fresh water.
I'm afraid if I don't give them layer mash too, because they're, they're not the nicest birds. Uh, they're just too little. Oh my. And they don't go through the mash as quickly. So, as we stop and make a detour, farming is kind of like ADHD. As you walk by, you see stuff, and you're like, well, I gotta take care of that before I move further. Oh, good job knocking that over, guys. Perfect. That black one is a cup of moran. And that really dark red one right there, that is a, a Rhode Island red. There should be four Rhode Island reds in here. And three black ones. Yeah, I had bought four, but one died. That's what happens to babies. I don't know who's screaming. So anyway, Baby Patrol came out. We had this set up with the light on it. What are you doing over there? What are you doing over there? Are you in labor? Oh, we yeah, maybe. I did ask her to do it on the weekend. Oh, we have a little bit of discharge here, don't we? Yeah. What are we doing? No, just a little. I don't know why you're in that corner. But anyway, we have this. This was a great investment. Um, I'm going to take it out. Wipe it down. Clean it. Because somebody, Evie, yes, you, Evie, decided that she was going to jump on everything. Knock stuff down. So I came out. The heat lamp was pulled out of the plug. Which I like running it this way with the treble cord because the treble cord will fall out much quicker um, than anything else. And at this point, I used wire and I hooked it up at the very top here, because I've had them pull that metal-like attachment off, and I don't want them to do that. Ah, oh, the heat lamp is on. And this is why it's pulled up and all messed up, because Evie can't leave anything alone. Hi, Mama. But once she has her babies, Evie will come out. Evie will have to go in with her, probably put her in the stall. Oh, not next door, not this one. Hmm. I have turkeys over here. I may put Evie and her mom in here. I may move the babies in here. Although I like them having a light during the day. Because I don't run the lights all the time. But that's just one of the things we're doing today. I'm hoping she has them. Tonight would be good. Yeah? Or you've got to wait. Oh, wait. I'm wondering if she's in labor now. Hmm? What do you think, Mom? She's kind of acting like it. Yeah? Are you in labor? Oh, Evie. Mm. Because normally she would just be eating. Is that warm? Hmm? Yeah. All right. Ooh. Are you going to let me milk you? Are you going to nurse your babies this time? I'm going to have to keep an eye on her. Hopefully she is in labor. We can get it done this weekend while I'm not having to go to work tomorrow morning, which would be phenomenal. Much easier for me. So there's our baby watch. I will let you know. I will post another video, of course, as soon as we find out what's going on. But now i got to get to work, clean this up. I'm going to try and install some lighting out here and clean this room. Thanks for watching, guys.